OK, I'm in Microsoft Excel and I want to calculate percentage of total. First of all, I'm going to create a total for the sales values. So I can select the sales values and then go up to the Auto Sum button and that will give me a total. Then I'm going to click up here in C2 and I want to calculate the percentage of the total that Bob has achieved. So I start with an equal sign. And then I click into Bob's cell, Bob's sales cell. Then I need to divide that value. So I use the forward slash character for that. And then I'm going to select the total. Now, if I press enter, that will give me a decimal result. I need to convert that to a percentage value. Now, one way I can do that is to use this button here, the percent style button. If I click on that button, it shows me the decimal value as a percentage value. I can increase the decimal places shown by using this increase decimal button. Every time I press it, I get a new decimal place. Now, if I just take this back to general, another way of formatting a value as a percentage value is to use this shortcut key, Control Shift 5. And I think I'll show one decimal place. Now, if I copy this formula down as it is, it's not going to work for me. In fact, I'm going to get the divide by zero error. Now that's because when I copy a formula down, the cell references within that formula also move down. So although I want the B reference to move down, I don't want the B12 reference to move down. Otherwise I'll be dividing by empty cells, which will give me the divide by zero error. So what I need to do in my original formula is lock this B12 reference and that will tell Excel not to change that cell reference when I copy the formula down. Now to do that, you need to put dollars in the cell reference. Now, because I'm copying down, I only need to lock the 12 in the B12 reference. And to do that, I just put a dollar in front of the 12. Now, if I press enter and copy this down, you can see that the formula works. Now, if you're copying the formula across a sheet, you would need to lock the B so the dollar wouldn't go there, it would go there. So that's if you're copying across. Now there is a shortcut key to put dollars in a cell reference. It's the F4 key, the function F4 key at the top of your keyboard. The only confusion with that is that if you're on a laptop, sometimes you have to hold down the Fn key as well as the F4 key. So you can experiment with that. And in fact, when you press F4, you get $2, and that's fine. For this situation, I could have had $2, but every time you press F4, you'll see a different configuration of the dollars in the cell reference. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.